Hello, my name is Kyle. I'm currently a student at the University of Malta. I'm studying computer science and I've been working at Ascent since last July. Since my internship started at Ascent, I've been tasked to program this robot, Nino, and we did some research and development in this field. Ascent Software has invested in this robot as it believes there's a lot of research that can be done in this field. And we are quite happy to work with the University of Malta on, on future projects. Working on this project was yeah. quite an interesting one. First of all, we don't get to play around with these toys very often. Um, so once you get the opportunity, you would be very optimistic and try to be creative. But sometimes it gets frustrating as well. It doesn't obey to what you say, it doesn't react what, how you want it. It starts dancing and then it falls off. And you've got to try again and uh, see what you did wrong and adjust your code accordingly. So, in general, it was a pleasant experience and I'm quite keen to do further research on this field. Do you like cats? I like animals, except when they pee on me. Or when they scratch me. The robot is equipped with four sensors, with four microphone sensors. It has one, two, three, four. It uses them to be able to hear what we say, listen to our voice commands, and also look around and know where the voice is coming from. And that's why it looks at you, why it behaves like a human, in a human manner. It also has four sonars, which are used to know if you're close to it. So when you try and touch it, it behaves accordingly. It also has four pressure sensors on its feet, so it can tell how it's standing on the floor, so if it needs to adjust, so when it's dancing it knows if it's going to fall off, it's not going to fall off. Then it also has an inertia sensor. If it falls, it tries to defend its face, so he doesn't get injured. Nino also have two cameras on his face, one at the top and one at the bottom. It can use them to detect facial recognition, it can also chase the ball, um, so that's with regards to the camera. The robot also have two IR sensors on its face, yes. on its, in its eyes. Yes. It uses them to track the human eyes. So it, when you're looking at it, it actually stares at you. And that's the other human uh, interaction that the robot gives towards people. The robot has 12 joints, which are the shoulders, the arms, the legs, the knees, and the hip. And it's quite accurate when it comes to movement. The robot comes equipped with an API, and this API supports 19 languages. These languages are used to be able to listen to what the human has to say and to reply back. A practical example of their use was in the sports game, where the robot was talking to the user and then listening to their reply, and obviously, if you're correct, he's happy, if you're not, well, he's not happy as well.